Good morning. It's Tuesday morning here in uh, Ebenezer Baptist Church and here at Life Renewed. I want to thank you again for joining us. Yesterday we talked a little bit about fear and about how God wants us to come out of the box. He wants us to jump out of the box because if we don't come out on our own, he's going to bring changes into our lives that's going to take us out of the box. I want to share another passage of scripture with you today beyond the Christmas story that we looked at yesterday. It's a story in Matthew chapter 8, beginning in verse 23, where the gospel reads, When he got into the boat, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great storm on the sea, so that the boat was being covered with the waves. But Jesus himself was asleep. And they said to him, and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we're perishing. He said to them, Why are you afraid, you men of little faith? Then he got up and rebuked the wind and the sea, and it became perfectly calm. The men were amazed and said, What kind of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? Yesterday we noticed that there are times when God wants us to let him out of the box in which we put God. And the bottom line is that God won't be contained in anybody's box, theological or otherwise. Theological, practical, personal. God wants to come out of the box that we've placed him in. And these men had said Jesus can do this and he can do that, but the storm, really? Let's, let's get real here, okay? Jesus was calling them to something that was really radical. Yesterday, we noticed that God was pulling us out of religion, out of our religion and our tradition so that he could come out of the box. And sometimes he calls us to something that is radical. It's called radical faith. Brennan Manning, in many of his books, talks about uh, the idea of, of, of ruthless trust. And I like to say that there's three levels of trust. One is or three levels of faith or trust. One is that simple faith where we say, yes, Lord, I trust you. The other one is that intentional faith where things are a little bit more demanding, a little bit more scary, and we, but we have to intentionally trust and have faith in him. And there's other times when things get so tough and so bad and so challenging that our trust has to move to this phase that Manning calls ruthless trust, that absolutely nothing is going to stop me from trusting God no matter what. And that's what Jesus was calling his disciples to here. He was crashed out somehow. I don't know how. I can't fathom being able to sleep in a boat in a storm with the water coming over the edge, but he was doing it. And somehow the, he, he was unable to sleep, and the disciples came to him and woke him up. They had to wake him up and say, save us, save us. Sometimes God's calling us to absolutely radical trust. Just an obedience that says, I'm going to bring things into your life, Mark, that are going to cause you to have to trust me radically. I'm going to bring things into your life that's going to take your simple faith that's comfortable for you and draw it even past intentional faith when tough times come. And I'm going to bring you to the place where you realize that you have to have, at times, ruthless, ruthless faith and ruthless trust in me. And that's exactly that to which Jesus was calling his disciples in this story in Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 and following. You know, I don't know what's going on in your life, but I know that fear plays a big part in it. And any time that God stretches your faith as he's stretching the faith of the disciples here, I can guarantee you it's going to cause tension. But you need to take heart in that tension. Because in that tension, God's going to transform you from who you are to who he wants you to be. Live with the tension. Realizing that God's calling you to something radical. And that, that thing that's radical that he's calling you to is an increased level of faith in him. Trust him. Even if it has to be ruthless. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.